Hello guys, it's me Zell, and we are here with another episode of Arcane. Episode 6 today, when these walls come tumbling down. I feel like that's song lyrics or something. It is getting action up in here. As unsurprisingly, if you've been watching my videos, I'm curious what's going to go with Victor. We obviously saw him in his bed, his sick bed with like, sounds like maybe his deathbed, he's coughing up blood, tuberculosis. I don't know what kind of things they deal with back, back then <laughs> in their world, what kind of sickness is, but he's not doing well. We also have to wonder, is Jace gonna continue down this dark path in politics that's different than who he is? I don't know. And Caitlyn, her and Vi's relationship is blossoming, blossoming. And we're gonna hopefully see, is this the episode we're gonna see Vi and now Jinx meet? I feel like maybe end of episode or something. But we're starting to get into, we're starting to get into some more um, information, these characters, worlds leading in the direction of what we see in League of Legends game, like modern time. We're still a little bit from that, but I'm feeling us starting to get on that road, but overall really um interesting but let's just get right to the episode uh, i don't think i have any announcements to make so yeah let's just get to it oh that's fun yeah except the water doesn't look very clean oh it's little victor sky I feel like they made a point to name her. Yeah. Oh, it was going too fast. Yeah, he probably worked really hard on that. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Interesting. <gasps> Don't be afraid. That looks like um, toothless from Why the dragon. Cute. She's dying. The mutation must survive. Can I help? Just some random stranger. We can be loners together. He seems nice, but I also feel like they're giving him this vibe. Seems I love them, this Victor stuff. I'm terribly sorry, my boy. Do you contemplate death, Professor? Only that of friends. Yummy, I love animated food. Oh, it's not even, it's paint. Victor's dying. Aww. Improving lives, solving real issues, not just trade dis- He's like my brother. Nothing feels impossible when I'm with you. I'm an exile from my family. What? You should be with him, Chase. We can't change what fate has in store for us, but we don't have to face it alone. Wow. He really wants to accomplish something big before he dies. He's remembering now. Whoa. Hmm. Jack! Oh. Who are you grabbing? Some girls. I mean, I mean, I I'm not He's grabbing girls. Scared. Well, other than the, those Why ones. I invited to the party? And I, I don't know. They, they got in a fight with Zavika. Why is she number. drinking it? Oh, really? You're doing great, Chuck. Here, for your troubles. Oh. Oh. Uh, little stinker. She's unpredictable. That's why people are scared. Can you do this? Can you do this in your state? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Is this finally Echo? Lost who? Wow, Jinx. What are you doing? It's your sister. She's back. She's looking for you. She's with some girl enforcer. Guess she replaced you. 
I do feel bad for Jinx. Ten out of ten, Tuts. <laughs> About time Daddy joined us. You were so busy, little Ren here saw me in. Uh-huh. Oh! Could you imagine being separated from your father? She's in a safe place. There's an enforcer with her. So he a girl. He Ruffy put her in jail age. the whole okay, time. Hmm. Oops. Oh, so sorry. Accidents happen. Oh. What? Whoa. Wait, so if can it Help Victor? Is it unlike anything we've ever Augmenting seen? physiology, extending life, curing you. Oh. I can feel my body eroding. Hmm. I'll have Sky bring Heimerdinger. He might know something that could help. In the meantime. Oh, that we'll Sky. The gal who has a crush on him. Gollum. They both have flashbacks. No. Not all of them. We aren't monsters, you know. Okay. What's most exciting is that it reacts to biological matter. There are stories of healing in which our side reflects our parents. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's destroy it. What? Oh no. That's what he was scared of. If ever you put faith in my guidance, Professor, again, this could save Victor's life. Victor, something's different. I won't let you. Jace, <laughs> this is a violation of the ethos. I will have it destroyed one way or another. <laughs> mm. Oh, is Victor, I can't remember, is he actually like a, turns like a mad scientist, like he turns bad? I, I, I'm a friend. Or at least I was. Was this the old guy she from the beginning, oh. first episode in the bar? Not so simple to come by around here. <laughs> oh, nice. Element. And That's she creepy. Makes potions helps people here with with this. Uh oh, what do you have to trade? Your gun? Wow. Yeah, that's a good trade, ma'am. Tell her, uh, tell her I'm sorry. What's your name? About everything. Okay. If you're lying, you deceiving her, you better go make that up now. Short of searching everyone who crosses the bridges, I don't know how we, we can. Have an order. Do it. We have to protect the city. That's he wanted that. One other thing. We must hold each other accountable. And who holds you accountable? What? Enforcers fear to set foot in the lanes, all under your watch. Jace, wow. you yourself. I'm sorry, Professor, but healing this city your will take more than projects time. need more time, more safeguards. Humans don't live for centuries. We can't wait for progress. He's getting emotional. We need a and your years of service can never be repaid. You're voting I him out. It's time we gave the beloved founder of our city a well deserved retirement. Jace. Don't do this. It has to be unanimous. They're all feeling... All in favor. They all want it. Appreciation, Professor. You just restarted it. Oh no, did you give her shimmer? Do you love her? You're back on your feet. Excuse me. What was the name? <laughs> Silco's there giving them drugs. Vanta's prodigy. That's why he did help her. What have you done with That's my That's why sister? I'm here right now. 
guys, no. Yeah, well. Nice. I ironic he has it's a sign with an eye falling on him. Yikes, he just had to let that crash on him. He's losing it. He's pissed. Uh oh. Is he putting things in or sucking things out? Oh my gosh. This guy is a mad scientist. Uh oh, he's going back to him. I understand now. <gasps> is this Cy not Cyan. Ah! Oh. Ah! Uh. Powder? Hi? Oh powder! Uh oh. I never thought I'd see you again. Are you real? Of course. It's me, Vi. Your sister. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm right here. What matters is we're together. Uh oh. Who's here with an enforcer? Your sister is Jinx. Caitlin, just listen. Don't say anything. I wasn't talking to you. Powder, it's okay. Was that why you came? For this stupid stone? <laughs> no. I don't even know what that is. You're a class no. actor. I'm here for She's you. She's losing Only it. You. you can fire that thing if you want, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to abandon it. Everyone, shut up. I need to think. Do you hear that? Uh-oh. Now it all, it totally looks like Vi set her up. And they're coming for Jinx. That's so cool. Dude. Whoa, that was... That was awesome. These fight scenes are so cool. Now she's gone. No! <sighs> Singed. It totally was. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I forgot his name. Singed. That's who Victor. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love it. I love that more things are added on. And then we saw freaking. Oh, what's his name? Timo. Timo. Timo was in the comics. Okay. I was facing things and things. again, I haven't played this game in a hot minute, but we see Singe's character, the scientist mutating the creature, Rio. I didn't, it didn't click when he was younger, when he was older and had the mask covered and then he had those big pipes with the, then it all was coming together and then Timo was in the comics. I don't, maybe it's based off of a real, obviously it's based off of a real character somewhere in the world. But wow, this is fun. Added some new characters. We're seeing finally Vi and Jinx meet and there's conflicting. I still think, you know, obviously there's some things that Jinx isn't trusting and Vi's discovering some things about Powder, aka Jinx. There's a lot of confliction going on there. They obviously still care about each other and there's that abandonment issues, that uh, deceiving, that mental illness that Jinx is experiencing, which is something we already were aware of with her, but um, there's a lot going on. Uh, Victor, I think we're obviously gonna see him use some of this ability, science and research that Singe is working on to keep him alive, which unfortunately isn't gonna go down the route that Basically, it's people what people do when they're desperate. And he, at this point, it's desperation because he wants to continue to leave, live. Because I don't, obviously, he doesn't want to die, but also because he doesn't want to leave this world without completing his research, leaving some impact in the world. And that's what's really made him upset is that he felt like a lot of this was stuff that he couldn't finish. He was kept getting hang ups on it. Poor Heimer got completely steamrolled in the council and forced early retirement 
and now his power has been stripped from him when in in reality you know it may come off as him being hesitant to things to better the future and when in truth it's that he has just lived such a life and experiences of what he's, he has seen things that has come from certain projects, certain research that is not for the betterment of their humanity. So he was trying to warn them, but they feel like it's a sense of control. And all the things he was preaching was exactly right. He's like, like we're getting, they're getting comfortable, like greed and pride and all these the conveniences and comforts instead of trying to work on the betterment and the growth of the people and to be one tribe. And now it's come and now it's just being fully, <laughs> he got thrown back in his faith. Jace took that opportunity to throw him out because while they were, had a little bit of guilt for knowing he was speaking truth, they didn't, they weren't ready. They weren't willing to give up those comforts. So they kicked him out because they are all playing the game. He was the only one on their council that wasn't playing the game and now he's gone so i'm curious on what role he will take if he will try to continue to fight back in a different way um we obviously see in the game he uses turrets a lot and different grenades to fight back i don't know if we're at, if that's actually something we're going to see him utilize and then caitlin obviously is learning more things she has this new relationship which pretty sure she has feelings for Vi. i can't remember their dynamic relationship in game but she is having to deal with now realizing that jinx is by sister jinx is also like the one that caused a lot of other enforcers to die um, needlessly she's seeing her be the cause of a lot of destruction and issues that are um not like for a purpose um so she's gonna they're gonna have to deal with that um ultimately like i, I really feel jinx is a very very tragic character in that she obviously has her mental illness but she's very alone she doesn't know who to trust um she's kind of now kicked the curve from with Silco its clan and Vi she kind of they kind of met up but I don't think it's going to be obviously a, an easy thing because she's Jinx up at this point has been taught to believe and be against and again the enforcers were the people who killed their parents and Jinx is not in a place where she can be rid of grudges yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult so i am uh looking forward to seeing that play out again curious on what direction victor is going to take with this um and seeing more of him and singe's relationship what exactly are the experiments he's doing because all we see is rio still in a tube is he's doing that all the time is jinx and vi going to have a relationship or is it going to be this push again jace what path he's going to take now that victor kind of is with this scientist if he even knows what's singed and is um yeah i don't know i don't know what jace jace has thinks he has good intentions but he's not going about the way he still has his feelings mixed up with um madara um a lot's going on <laughs> but it's really good really emotional gosh kudos again that fight at the end there with i don't remember the name of those um that squad i'm guessing they're they're some rebel resistance fighters fighting for the underworld in a sort um but they aren't obviously aligned with topsiders they aren't aligned with silco they're like resisting something they're fighting for doing something they're trying to create their own their own world and i again we have we haven't had any revelation towards it but i'm pretty sure obviously echo is a part of it he may be that leader involved in it yeah so i'm looking forward to potentially get it. well i think we are going to get that next episode because obviously vi got captured so there you go and i think caitlin is what i'm suggesting she kind of left so caitlin and vi are captured by these crew we're going to discover um who's a part of it anyways i'm just rambling on but anyways it was a good episode i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction review and the show uh it's been a great great show so far to see and i guess that's it sometimes i just keep running my mouth and i just probably organize my thoughts better but that's okay you're here you've obviously know i'm like this sometimes so anyways thanks so much for watching guys and supporting if you want to support further hit that upload up vote like the finger like with the thumb <laughs> goodness Push subscribe if you aren't already, if you want to see the rest of these reactions play out in Arcane. I'm also reacting to The Witcher, and I will continue to react with Star Wars content and Marvel as it comes out. Kenobi is coming out. Super excited, super pumped, super excited. Yeah, I have no other feelings on that. I have a lot of feelings. I'm just going to end this here. It's just going a lot of places. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.